This is Tech Nick and welcome to 10 of the fastest charging smartphones on the planet. The first phone that we have here is the Oppo Ace 2 with 65 watt charging capabilities and a 4000 milliamp hour battery which is actually dual cell split into in order for it to charge faster concurrently. Next up we have the Oppo Find X2 Pro also with 65 watt charging here, 4260 milliamp hour battery also split into two dual cell batteries. Next up we have the Realme X50 Pro with 65 5 watt charging capabilities, a 4200 milliamp hour battery with dual cell batteries as well. Next up we have the Xiaomi Black Shark 3 Pro with a massive 5000 milliamp hour battery and 65 watt charging capabilities with a 65 watt charging block in the box also with dual cell batteries. We have the Red Magic 5G with 55 watt charging and a 4500 milliamp hour battery. You have to splurge to get the 55 watt charger if you want it though. Next up we have another dual cell battery, the Realme X2 Pro which is previously crowned king of this test. 4000 milliamp hour battery, 50 watt charging, also dual cell batteries here. Next up we have the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. It comes with a 65 watt block in the box, but it only has 50 watt charging capabilities with a 4500 milliamp hour battery. Next up on the test, we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with 45 watt charging capabilities and a 5000 milliamp hour battery. You have to splurge once again if you want that 45 watt block, only a 25 watt block comes in the box. Next up we have the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition with 33 watt charging and a 4,700 milliamp hour battery. It is also capped at 33 watts here. Following that comes the OnePlus 8 Pro with 30 watt warp charging. This hasn't changed as opposed to last year. What has changed though is a bigger battery with 4,510 milliamp hours. These 10 phones charge incredibly fast and I cannot wait to share the results with you. Guys, this is Technic and without further ado, let's go. We're going to be starting a timer on my OnePlus 70 at the top right hand corner over there. We have an interval timer underneath where it says time interval over there and whenever it highlights yellow that is the current time interval that we are on. Branding at the bottom and percentages above each phone. After just 6 minutes we have 27% on the Ace 2, 25% on the Find X2, 27% on the X50, 20% on the Shark 3, 23% on the Red Magic, 26 on the X2, 20% on the Mi 10 and so on we go. After 10 minutes 43% on the Ace 2, Find X2 with 39%, 41% on the X50, we have 42% now on the X2 Pro making it the leader over here. The worst one here is the OnePlus with just 21%. I'm gonna move along over here until we hit that 50 minute mark. Now we have the X2 Pro at 63% and the Oppo Ace 2 at 63%, both leading the pack over here. Next up is the X50 Pro with 59% and then 57% on the Find X2 Pro. The OnePlus is still dead last with 32% though tying with the Redmi K30 Pro. That quickly changes, now the OnePlus is dead last again. 43% on the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition, 46 on the Samsung, 57% on the Mi 10 Pro, 82% which is the crown leader so far, the X2 Pro. 93% after 25 minutes on the Oppo Ace as opposed to 3 minutes more of the X2 Pro on 96%, 86% on the Find X2 Pro and 90% on the X50. OnePlus still the stone cold last day, 47%. After just 27 minutes, the Realme X2 Pro finishes in first place here with a 100% booting up that 4000 milliamp hour battery. We have 33.6 degrees in Celsius over here. As we go throughout the test, we'll be comparing it to other phones. While that happened, the next phone jumped into full 100% mode, which was the Oppo Ace 2 over there in just 29 minutes. Just two minutes past its little brother over there, the Realme X2 Pro. 33.9 degrees Celsius over there, slightly hotter than that of the X2 Pro. It also has less milliamp hours per minute over there and less percentage per minute too. After 30 minutes, we have 95% on the Find X2 Pro, 99 on the X50, which is about a clock out, and there it goes. 100% after just 31 minutes for the Realme X50 Pro over here. 35.4 degrees in Celsius with 3.2% per minute, 136 milliamp hours per minute over there. And after 35 minutes, we have the Find X2 Pro on 99%, about a clock out, the Samsung's on 87, and the OnePlus is stone cold last at 59. The Oppo Find X2 Pro just clocked out 100% after just 30 odd minutes there, 33.7 degrees, 35 minutes on the phone there, 2.9% per minute, 122 milliamp hours per minute. Coolest phone so far, 33.6 tying of that with the X2 Pro. After 40 minutes, we have 98% on the Black Shark 3 Pro and 97 on the Red Magic 5G. Which one will come out on top over here? Both of them sitting at 99%, but the Red Magic 5G makes it 100% after just 43 minutes over there, with the Black Shark not far behind there. 34.7 degrees in Celsius for the Red Magic. And as I'm putting the phone down, the Black Shark clocks out 100%, also 43 minutes, just a couple seconds after the Red Magic. In my opinion, it did slightly better because it does have 500 milliamp hours more in battery capacity, but it does have a faster charging wattage there of 
of 65 watts, so it should be pretty similar. After 45 minutes, we have 96% on the Xiaomi, 85% on the Samsung, 82 on the K30 Pro Zoom Edition, and Stone Cold Lost, once again, 71% on the OnePlus 8 Pro. 100% for the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro here after just 48 minutes. It gets 34.4 degrees Celsius over there. The Kudus phone is still the Oppo Find X2 Pro and the X5. X2 Pro over here with the hottest being that of the X50 Pro. After we hit that hour mark, you guys will see in a second here, we have 96% on the S20 Ultra, 96% on the K30 Pro and 89% on the OnePlus 8 Pro. OnePlus really need to up their stages over here of their charging times. They used to be the fastest, not so much anymore. They're currently the worst in this test. 30.4 degrees Celsius for the Samsung after finishing in just one hour and four minutes. Only just 78 milliamp hours per minute over there, but it is now the coolest phone at 30.4 degrees Celsius. After just an hour and eight minutes, the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition clocks out at an hour and eight minutes, 100% of that 4,700 milliamp hour battery. Not too bad for 33 watt charging, 32 degrees Celsius, the second coolest phone of the bunch here. OnePlus 8 Pro, 96% after an hour and 10 minutes, and after we hit that hour and 19 minutes, which we're about to close in on, it finally clocks out at 100% there, making it the slowest phone of the year so far. It is really not charging quick for a flagship. I cannot believe I'm actually saying this and it is quite hot at that rate too. The hottest phone of the bunch here, hour and 19 minutes, 1.3% per minute, 57 million hours per minute there for the OnePlus. 10th place, the OnePlus 8 Pro with an hour and 19 minutes with that 30 watt warp charger. OnePlus really need to up their game here if they want to flaunt the competition, but it does have a bigger 4,510 milliamp hour battery. Ninth place, the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition with an hour and eight minutes, which is 11 minutes faster than the OnePlus and it does have a bigger battery and just slightly faster watts it's charging. Eighth place, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with an hour and four minutes over here. 45 watt charging, you're not gonna get much faster time. With the 45 watt block compared to the 25 watt block, maybe just two or three minutes over here, it's mainly for charging early on. Seventh place, the Mi 10 Pro with 48 minutes, 50 watt charging, 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Not too bad over there, edging close to its brother, its big brother, the Xiaomi Black Shock 3 Pro. 43 minutes, really impressive for a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery and true 65 watt charging, unlike the Mi 10 Pro over there. Fifth place, just a few seconds faster than the Black Shark over there, 43 minutes for the Nubia Red Magic 5G with a smaller 4,500 milliamp hour battery and slower 55 watt charging. So in my opinion, the Black Shark did slightly better over there, but those are just the raw results. Fourth place, the Find X2 Pro with 35 minutes, really fast charging over here, 65 watt charging, 4,260 milliamp hour battery. In third place, we have the Realme X50 Pro over here. This is insanely fast charging 65 watt charging with just 4200 milliamps to charge up in 31 minutes second place the oppo ace 2 in 29 minutes under 30 minutes i am impressed pretty much on par with its predecessor the reno ace 65 watt charging over there 4000 milliamp hour battery first and still the king of this test the realme x2 pro with 27 minutes 50 watt charging not as fast as other charging but it does come out quicker in this regard if they were all 4000 milliamp hour batteries all of them would stay pretty much the same the sam Samsung would actually drop by 13 minutes, putting it charging at just 51 minutes because it does have the biggest battery of the lot here, as well as the Black Shark 3 Pro, which would drop by nine minutes over there. It would then overtake the Nubia Red Magic 5G for fifth place instead of sixth place over there. Otherwise, the rankings all stay the same except for the Realme X50 Pro, which would then tie with the Oppo Ace 2. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching this test. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until next time, this is Technic.